selling original art is the worst thing an artist can do because it's making it yourself as hard as possible. What you should be doing instead is make it yourself as easy as possible with the law of least effort. If you look at the best artists in the world, the Damien Hursts, the Jeff Koonses, the richest artists, the smartest artists, they are not selling any original art. They are not selling art at all. They sell something else. And the reason they sell something else is because selling original art is extremely dumb. If you ask a business guy, what their worst nightmare is, what the worst case scenario is, what hell would look like for them. They would say that hell is a place where you are forced to make a new product every time you sold your product. AKA the business model of an artist. They would literally say the business model of an artist is the worst case scenario, is hell. And so that is not what Damien Hurst did. Damien Hurst didn't follow the business model of artists because that business model doesn't actually work. Damien Hurst made a particular product once and then he sold that over and over again. He has been selling the same product thousands of times over the last decade or two. And so Damien Hurst asked himself, what would this art career look like if this would be easy? What would it look like? If this would be a piece of cake, a.k.a. the law of least effort. Let me explain what I mean with that. The world changed forever the moment Hollywood figured out how to sell momentum instead of movies. So here's what happened. Hollywood made movies. Everybody loved movies. Hollywood made millions. Everybody loved millions. And then there was this one guy. Let's call him John. He's an intern at some Hollywood firm, some Hollywood department, whatever. Uh, John wants to make a name for himself. And so he develops what he believes is a genius business model. He says to the top guys, I believe that we have to sell movies at a different format, a higher format, with higher quality, but we sell the same movies. We sell the same exact movie. Now, the executives in the room, they laugh him out of the room. They think, John, what a dumb idea. Why in the hell would people buy the exact same movie again? Just because it's a different format? Who the fuck would ever do that? Now, it should have been over right then and there, but John was persistent. John didn't give up. And lo and behold, in the early 2000s, Hollywood made a shot. They came out with... The HD quality. HD. Now, probably some executive must have thought by themselves, this is absolute nonsense. Who the fuck will ever buy this? And lo and behold, everybody that already bought the movie, they just bought it again. But this time, in HD quality. This is not where it stopped. This is where it started. In 2004, they came with the HD, but in 2006, they invented the Blu-ray. And lo and behold, everybody bought it again. In 2016, they came out with the 4K resolution and everybody bought it again. And then in 2026, they came with the AI enhanced and everybody bought it again. And the director's cut and everybody bought it again. And people just kept on buying the same movie they already bought in different formats and different resolutions. Solutions. Lo and behold, they convinced us to buy what we already bought. Why? Because some guy in the company asked themselves, what would it look like if this would be easy? And the answer was, well, we don't even have to make new movies anymore. We just sell them what they already bought. That's the answer to the question. And so what does this mean for creatives like ourselves? Well, we have to ask ourselves a question. What would my art career look like if this would be fucking easy? Instead of thinking that selling out is bad, instead of demonizing the sellout artists, perhaps you shouldn't demonize them at all. Perhaps you should sell a mug because guess what? People want mugs and mugs are print on demand so you don't even have to do anything. You just have to sell the mug and then people buy the mug and then the print on demand facility automatically ships and makes the mugs for you and so you don't do anything. This is how it looks if it would be easy. If people want posters, sell posters. Here's the thing, Larry Gagosian, one of the richest galleries in the world, perhaps even the richest gallerist in the world he started selling posters why because people wanted posters at that time that's why he sold posters and guess what he now has the biggest 
gallery in the world. And so let's go back to the Damien Hirst example early on in this video. Is Damien Hirst selling original art? Is Jeff Koons selling original art? Do billionaires somehow really like circles? Oh, Dries, billionaires love circles so much that they pay hundreds of thousands of dollars for circles. Well, if that is the case, then why aren't they paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for your circles, Patrick? Here's the reality. Patrick, let me tell you this. Hmm. Damien Hurst hasn't sold a single circle in his life. It is not about circles. It never has been about circles. Damien Hurst hasn't sold a single artwork, an original artwork, in his entire life. Why is it that Thomas Downing, who made circle paintings... Decades before Damien Hirst didn't sold the goddamn thing. I'm exaggerating a little bit here, okay? Didn't sold the goddamn thing. And Damien Hirst sold massive amounts of art. Why? Because there's a difference between Damien Hirst and Thomas Dawning. And it's not the spot paintings. The difference is that Damien Hirst has a brand. Damien Hirst has been selling the brand. That's the only thing he has been selling for the last two decades. And so there are no spot paintings. There is no original art. It is just brand. The only reason it works for Damon Hurst is because of brand. The only reason people are buying Fight Club DVD in a higher resolution is because of the brand. The brand is the only reason. They already watched the movie. There's nothing about the movie anymore that they need to watch. They watched it. They probably watched it two or three times. And they know they can download it for free online. They don't want the movie. They want the limited edition package. They want to belong. They, they want to brand. Now why is this the most important thing for you to realize? The most important thing that you could possibly realize at this moment? Well, AI is changing the world as we speak. It's already better at communicating in the lower 20% of people in the world. And so what does that mean? Well, in the next 10 years, it's going to become better than 99.99% .99 of artists out there. Meaning that when it does, everybody will use it to build their brand. Not only that, it will be better at everything than you. At everything. And it will be faster than you at everything by 100x, 200x, 300x, 400x. And so the only thing that survives is brand. And what does that really mean? What does that truly mean? It means that for the last 200 years, minus five, the last five years, okay, but 200 years before that, you couldn't become an artist. There were gatekeepers, there were gallerists who decided who became an artist and who didn't. Same in the music industry, same in every single art industry out there. And then suddenly, for the last five years, there was a small window in which social media came and changed everything. And suddenly the gatekeepers were gone and you could just randomly become, become an artist. You could just randomly become an artist based on your own skill level, on the merits of skill. This is very strange. This is a very rare moment and it will last another five to 10 years before AI closes that window forever. This is the last moment. This is your one shot. This is the only opportunity that you have as an artist. There is nothing else. If you don't build a brand today, you will not be able to build a brand anymore 15 years from now. It will be over. The only people that will be able to build a brand are people who already have money. And so this is the last moment you have. What is the law of least effort when it comes to creativity? Simple. Build a brand. And so then the question becomes, well, how are you going to build a brand? How are you going to build a brand? And the answer is, of course, through the artist formula, an online residency I've built where I give you the exact blueprint that I use myself, the exact steps that I use myself, 10 years of my life compressed in a couple of hours so that you can go faster than anybody else. Speed matters. Link in the description. Check it out. As well as the video that is going to explain you the best platform to build that brand, namely why you should be a YouTuber, artist or creative video that you see right here that said get the hell out of here